Hello everybody, it's here Boa Bludger and today's video is going to be a little different. Today I'm going to be showing you uh, how to create and use a DLL in C Sharp. So, of course, to get started we need to start up Visual Studio, Visual Studio 2019. Let's do create a new project, give it a second to load because, um, yeah, I have a lot of stuff here. Uh, we're going to select uh, class library .NET framework C Sharp next we're gonna select the latest .NET framework even though I think there is a newer version but it doesn't show it to me here I might need to update um, Visual Studio or something I don't know let's select this directory over here and let's name it something like POW because we're going to be creating a power uh, DLL thing basically it gives you a function for using the math power like to the power of 3 being 8. So, to get started, we're going to rename this class, class to something like, um, let's do calculate. Yep. We don't need any of this crap. Um, let's do, let's create a function public it's going to be retrieving a double so public double um let's name it um just power um it's going to require two arguments uh uh double which is going to be our base and an integer which is going to be our exponent if I wrote that correctly yeah curly brackets and now as you can see we have no return value so I'm going to create a copy of the base variable So there we go, um, so let's do a simple for loop here, um, int i is 0, i is smaller than uh, exponent, i plus plus, and uh, here we need to do base is base times base storage and then we need to do return base now this is going to oh wait semicolon uh, this is going to run it one more time because of the first cycle being zero so I'm just gonna and we can remove one from exponent or set this to one I'm gonna set this to one and there we go, it's done. We are just gonna do build solution. Okay, build pow. Okay, and batch build real quick here. Now we can close this up. And let's open our folder over here. Pow. Bin, release, and let's copy this DLL. We're gonna put it in here, like that. Let's start up Visual Studio again. Create a new project. And now we're gonna do uh, Windows Forms app.net framework C sharp. Next. Everything's gonna be the same again, literally. Like, we're gonna name this one Power Calcu Calculator. Now I know the math uh, library thing and C sharp already has the pow power function. But this is just for demonstrating you the DLL. So in references we're gonna do add reference and uh, let me just browse pow the DLL add okay. As you can see it's there. 
no I'll just uh, I'm not gonna try to design this UI to look nice I'm just gonna change one property here if I'm able to find it here we go none and now let's just add um, a button that'll be our calculate button Um, there we go. Okay. Now we'll create a label for the result. And... Uh, we need two text boxes, so... There we go. make them fit and now I'm gonna change this label to nothing like that and now let's double click on this button and here we go we can remove this scrap here because it's not required and now we need to do using um, pow it's the same pow here the name space is pow so uh, now up here we need to do um, calculate that's our class that we created there calculate um, let's just do calculate but um, with uh, non capital C is new calculate so we're just inheriting the class here let me uh, constructor okay now uh, down here we're just gonna do we're gonna set the text of the label so label one that text is convert dot to string semicolon there um, we're gonna do calculate so our thing here our class uh, calculate dot power uh, now we need to give it two arguments, uh, the first being what's in here and the second being what's in here. Uh, but uh, they come out as strings, so we need to turn this one to double and this one to an integer. So, uh, convert dot to double, and yeah, and then we're gonna do convert dot to and 32. I would do 64, but that's a long and we specified an end, so I cannot do that. And here we're just gonna do uh, text box one dot text. And here we're gonna do list, uh, not list, um, text box two dot text. And that should be our code. Let's uh, do. Let's just say everything. Start. Let's have it build it. And now we cannot move it, but uh, let's do, um, I don't know, 4 and 4. That should be uh, 256, if I'm correct. 256. Uh, let's do to the power 5. Some, that should be like 1024. Yeah. We can do six, uh, four thousand and uh, four thousand and one sec, four thousand and ninety six. Yeah, and then blah blah blah. But yeah, like I said, if we do two to the power of three, that would be eight. Uh, two to the power of four, power of four, that'd be sixteen. To the power of ten. 1024 etc so yeah as you can see <coughs> our thing works perfectly and yeah that's how you create a simple dll and use it i hope you enjoyed this video if you did uh, leave a like subscribe share this video with your friends and yeah uh, have a nice day and see ya bye